Hey, Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation, and I uh, want to do just a quick little tip today on, on something that probably a lot of us run into. I've got this uh, Boker neck knife that I really like. Um, I use this thing every day. I use it quite a bit. I use it in our warehouse, in our shop, opening boxes, cutting down cardboard. Use it out in the use it out in the sticks and everything on you know just small detail work or whatever, just cutting cutting dinner or whatever, cutting some meat, whatever. And uh, it's a nice old knife. That's not really the point. Point is, a lot of these uh, a lot of these things come with these uh, Kydex sheaths, and these things are great. This one, with all the use I've had, it's starting to get a little bit loose. So I'll just show you how you can uh, tighten that up. And at the same time, uh, sometimes you get a knife or whatever. Sometimes it's too tight and it's awkward to get it in and out. So let me just show you real quick how you can uh, very uh, quickly and simply adjust these things. All right, so so here's my here's my little sheath. As you can see, if we look right here, the way it holds the the knife in is it's uh, kind of rolled over right here. So that kind of pinches this uh, thick part of the blade right here by, by where your finger well is. And um, that's just over time kind of spread a little bit so it doesn't snap in there quite as tight. So I get a little bit of, get a little bit of jiggling. I mean it's still not going to just fall out but I want to tighten it up just a hair. So all you need to do this is you can use, uh, you could use something like a hair dryer or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to use the uh, heat gun that I've got. We use that for a lot of our things like, for example, when I did the video showing how to make the neck cord for this. We use the shrink tubing right here over our crimps. So we're going to use this and we're going to soften up the kydex a little bit. So let me turn it on. And it doesn't take a lot here to to uh, soften that up. And I just kind of probe a little bit here with my, just using the pencil eraser. Okay, it's softening now. All right. So I can soften that up a little bit. Now I'm gonna just shove, I'm gonna shove my knife in there and I'm gonna, okay, here we go. That's softened now. So now what I'm gonna do, I've got the knife up in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this eraser here. I think you can see that. And I'm just holding that a little bit in the down position until it cools. Uh, the, cool, the nice thing about Kydex is it's reformable at any time. So like if I, if I did this a little too much and needed to loosen it up a bit, why I can always do that. It's still a little bit warm here. So I can actually pinch in on that side too. Just a little bit. I think you can see that. And as uh, soon as it cools, then it firms right up, and you're good to go. So now you could do the opposite. If you have a knife that I've seen some that are just too tight, and I, you know, I hate it when it's so hard to pull them out of there. I like it to be kind of convenient. So in that case, you just warm it up, and then you'd uh, go in there, and you just spread it a little bit. And then uh, when it cools, you'll be uh, a good sit. There we go. There we go. Now... Now oh, that, that clicks in there, clicks in there a lot nicer now. That holds it in place really nice. I like that. That works. So anyway, really quick, that's uh, all there is to uh, uh, adjusting uh, Kydex sheaths. Very simple, very quick, and you can redo it. Don't don't be in fear that you're going to ruin anything. If you get it, uh, if you adjust it too much, you can always soften it up and readjust it. So. Uh, Perry Peacock, Wilderness Innovation, with your quick tip today, adjusting tight-end sheets.